Hello, so my name is Zoe and I am 22 years old and I just wanted to share kind of why I joined Savvy, why I said yes. And so yeah, I graduated, so I'm 22. I graduated college last May with PR marketing during the pandemic. Yes, I graduated from my couch. And it was such a crazy time because it was already, obviously we were all going through a lot. And then graduating in that, which is already stressful because you're kind of like, what do I do with my life? I don't know. Let alone during a pandemic when like literally no one knows what is going on. So it was kind of a time that was so, I was so anxious so stressed out because I was like, what am I going to do with my life? Well, so I had a part-time job, more full-time basically, but I was just kind of like, I'm stuck because I knew my parents had always worked for themselves and I kind of wanted to do that. Um, I started doing social media for people on the side because I graduated with PR marketing and I just kind of was like, what do I do with my life? And I knew I wanted my own time freedom. I knew that. I was like, no matter what, I want to start doing something on my own, no matter what that looks like, because I love to travel. I'm very independent and I just knew that I wanted to be my own boss one day. And so it kind of was playing like, well, this is kind of the perfect time graduating during the pandemic when everything was going online anyways. So it was kind of like, I knew my time was like now. I was like, this is the perfect time for me to start doing something on my own. So I was going back and forth between, I was gonna start a social media business and just something on my own in general. So I actually, the reason I even found Savvy from that was because in June, um, someone had reached out to my mom because my mom's a personal trainer and just telling her about Savvy because it aligned with her business and all of that. And my mom was like, I can't because of what I'm doing with my personal training. But I have a daughter who is always selling her clothes. I was the one always selling my clothes on Facebook, Instagram. I had an Instagram page always just for extra money. So my mom was like, but I have a daughter who share, like does this anyway. So I'll just talk to her about it. So um, I think literally that night or the next day, I just got some info and then the next day I ended up enrolling and didn't really know what it was. I knew in my head, I was like, oh, okay. Like this is the clothing that, you know, I love clothes. I love posting about clothes and I'm into social media. And I was like, I know a lot of people wear athletic wear. I personally never really wore it all the time. I wore leggings and everything all the time, but I never really thought, I mean, I don't know. I just love clothes. So I was like, oh, sure. Like, this is a great opportunity, whatever. Didn't really do much with it. So from June to like August or September or like October, I don't know. I was still going back and forth. So like for that four month span, I was doing, I had enrolled in Savvy in June. So I graduated in May, June. And then for four months, I feel like I was still going back and forth on like, what am I doing with my life? Stressing myself out. You can ask my parents. And because I also moved home. So backtrack, I was supposed to have it. I had an internship in Florida. So I should have not even like the pandemic um, allowed me not to go there. So I was not even supposed to move back home. Not supposed to be in Arkansas. That's where I'm from. I was supposed to be in a completely different state doing something different with my life. And so that was another thing I was really bummed about um, because I just wanted to travel and I just wanted to get out of Arkansas. I wanted to live by the beach, but I wouldn't have met, I wouldn't have been in Savvy. I don't feel like if not. So that kind of happened. And so for that four months, I was just from June to October, whenever, September, I was just so confused in life and so stuck on what I'm going to do. I was stressing myself out, not thinking about savvy. Well, something I was still plugging in. I was still like hearing what this was doing for people and how, what really hit me, I think was I was still tuning into um, th this amazing community, but I was not doing anything with it. I was not really, I was wearing the clothes. That's all I wore, but I wasn't telling people about it at all. I heard Christina Watts say that 
she has six dollars in her bank account and when she and now she's a founder of this company and I feel like that is the one thing that I remember hearing and I was like what am I doing why am I not doing something with this opportunity that is changing lives and I know at my age being at the beginning that it can change mine and so that really stuck with me and I remember I just made that decision that I was not going to not do anything with this that I was going to start telling people about it and whether that be the clothes or how this opportunity can help them I just decided and ever since then it has impacted my life I have met so many amazing women I have never been this confident in myself ever and a lot of people would be like oh whatever no like seriously this community has changed me as a person I feel like I'm growing in a way that I would not be growing without it um and just the positive community is really like I'm I have student loan debts I have things I need to be paying for I still lived I'm still live at home because of the pandemic I had to move home so yes I'm doing it for the income especially at my age but it has become so much more than that and the people and the friendships and just this amazing community that I would not have gotten I don't personally feel like anywhere else to grow me into the woman that I want to become and so yeah it has just been so awesome and I definitely feel like if you are thinking about this you are at the beginning you wear these clothes all of the time you're always probably posting on social media or texting your friends like where you got things and we're not getting paid to recommend people to Target, Revolve, H&M, we don't get paid to tell people we got our clothes from there, but you can get paid to tell your to tell your friends that you got your clothes from Savvy. And that's what's so cool about it is it is unlike anything else. And I was a number one person to be a skeptic of something like this. The number one person, I literally ignored people all the time when they would ask me to join things. But y'all, this is different. The community that you get will change your life if you want that and so I just encourage you to really think about this because you never know where it can take you I did not know back in June when I was like oh yeah I'm just gonna enroll for the clothes that this would turn into something that it has so it's been so awesome and yes yeah, so I hope that you have enjoyed this and have a great day